Your living room is often the place where you spend the most time with your family, and it's often the place that is most overlooked. So today I want to walk you through my living room and show you what I did for my remodel, my furniture, and my accessories and art. I'm Michelle Dirksy, an interior designer based here in Seattle, Washington, and in this series I'm going to walk you through everything you need to know about interior design. I bought my home four years ago. It's a split level from 1980. One of the biggest challenges was the existing architectural elements. I had popcorn ceiling, carpet that had the worst sound and looked terrible when you stepped on it, a fireplace that had an awkward proportion and swirls in it. So I really wanted to solve for you know, better flooring, better layout, better fireplace, and a new window. My first step for the remodel of the living room was to have many items removed. I demoed the half wall, I removed the popcorn ceiling, I removed the existing carpet. For my fireplace, I really wanted to mix up materials and get rid of that gross brick. So we framed over the brick, added a Tadillac plaster, added a new soapstone heart that extends all the way to the wall, and then also added a steel surround to help protect the plaster from the flames. The window was a small change. It's the existing size, but the window was jammed into the corner and that was irritating to me because it meant I couldn't extend the fireplace mantle into the wall. And it also meant I couldn't have center drapery like I wanted. So we removed the window. Unfortunately, it broke when we removed it because it hadn't been installed properly. Now that the window is centered, not only do I have room for the hearth to go all the way into the wall, I also have room for drapery to flank it on either side. I chose to go with a privacy drapery as well as a sheer so that way um, we can let light in but still have a bit of privacy. When replacing the carpet I went with a simple white oak flooring. I chose a white oak flooring because it's affordable and I think it's timeless. By it being a solid oak floor instead of an engineered floor, that means that I can sand it many, many times. So oftentimes when you get a engineered floor, they'll tell you that you can sand it um, and refinish it. And really what they mean is you can re finish it. So the finish on top, you could do what's called a screen and coat, and then they just add like the clear coat again, but you can't change the color. Um, versus a solid oak floor, which is what I went with, you could sand it many times and you can change the color. So I could stain it any color I want next year, 10 years from now, um, and then finish on top of that. It also is affordable. I had a half wall between my living room and the entry, which is great for letting light in, but because I love art so much, I really wanted more places for art. So we actually extended the height of that half wall, separating the living room and the entry. For new lighting, I chose cans, and then I also went with a surface mount vintage fixture that I had in my old condo. And I went with a few sconces that were also in my old condo and are also vintage from Cherish. For the artwork, this is the piece that we commissioned from uh, Joelle Samaro, an artist that my husband and I have always admired. We love her use of texture and you know, it's a neutral piece, but it just has so much interest because of the texture. My husband and I had our second date at Foster White Gallery here in Seattle, and I fell in love with the artist Jana Watson while we were there and we finally were able to get a piece of hers and that's the piece that we have next to our fireplace. When I first moved in, we tried to make the most of what we had, so we worked with the existing sofa and chaise that I had, but now we have this super comfortable sectional that is 36 inches deep on this side, so we have enough room to see the television. We're far enough back, but then we also have this super deep side so that I can snuggle in with my family. We also have the classic Eames lounge chair, and my husband really wanted it, and that's the reason we have it. I wanted the womb chair, um, but I, got, I had to give him something, so that's why we have that. <laughs> Here's our new coffee table, which I love, and it's actually not new, it's vintage. And I saw it on Instagram, um, this great company that I follow, and I just had to have it. It's not quite the proportions that I would normally want for this space. It, I'd prefer it be a little to be a little larger, but I just love the carved marble. Um, it's pink marble, it's sculptural, and I just had to have it. I actually have my own collection that I made in collaboration with some local artists. So in my own home, I have an area rug that I made in collaboration with Jennifer Gauthier. 
a drapery fabric that I made in collaboration with Maya Kerner, and then two pillows, one made in collaboration with Noel Fountain, and one, the fabric is made in collaboration with Dana Mooney. We have a few side tables to pull up to the sofa or set your drink on. Um, one that I really love is from Blue Dot. It's pretty affordable, and it's what I'd call a classic C table. It can hang over the sofa, so if you want, yes, you could have your drink there, but you could also put your laptop on it and so it's pretty functional in that sense. The Vintage Brutalist cabinet I found on Cherish. Painting it black is probably not something I would do for any of my clients, but my husband really loves black. <laughs> and so we went for that. We did a um, flat matte finish on it, and I just love the texture of it, and I love that it's a place that we can store things away. When designing your own living room, it's important to think about how is everything going to come together? And people often address one element at a time. Because I was able to plan my whole living room at one time, I was able to make sure that the architecture, furniture, and the accessories and art would all come together in the end. I hope that hearing about my process and touring the living room gave you a few ideas, and if so, let me know.